Welcome everyone to the Pine Leaf Needles channel update for August 2018 where I'll go over what I did during the month of July and what my plans are for the month of August. So let's begin with what I did during the month of July. My lore master started a new series with the start of volume 3 of the epic story where I am currently going through Enidwythe. I completed the second block of Rust and Rhyme and that means that Rust and Rhyme is now completed and that means we are done with the Northern Kingdoms until the release of Update 23. I started a new Lotro series with The Burglar and I'm continuing my adventures with Petronella Turner who was left behind a little back when I was doing the Bingo Boffin series and replaced her with a different character. So now I am resuming there and I took Petronella and I entered into Moria. So I am just at the threshold inside of Moria ready to quest within. In Minecraft I had a rather tumultuous month because in the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge I died in day two even before I found a good spot for building my jungle tree house. Now I did decide then because I died so early that I would start a new series in the same world with slightly more relaxed rules and the object there was to build a tree house except with a greater chance of survival. So I did eventually finish up my tree house despite dying in the MHC. I also started a new Minecraft series for 1.13 called Atomic Islands and in this series I am attempting to make various builds related to elements of the periodic table. So I've got through six of the elements so far and scattered them all over the place. I do have a world that's a little bit colder than I was expected. Some places I've taken advantage of this and other places it is getting in my way. But I think we had a nice little start to that series. Another series that I started was a railroad challenge where I am starting to build a railroad where I start at location zero and then build north, south, east, west. And this series was inspired by a series recently completed by Scranny's Gone Gaming. And now I'm trying to do something similar on that matter. Now at the current time I have managed to just select my locations, do some scouting to the east and west, and I've also found a village that was in desperate need of relocating. So I'm currently in the midst of relocating that village. I also managed to complete the July base race, though once again it took me an extraordinary long amount of time, so I fell way short of winning that particular challenge. It took me something like 10 hours to complete, while the goal was to complete it in 2 hours and 40 minutes. In one deck dungeon, I tested two promo characters, Fnatic and The Witch. And that completes what I did during the month of July, so what am I planning in the month of August? For the Lord of the Rings Online, I will be continuing with my Burglar series on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'm hoping to finish up Durin's Threshold and the Dove in View. And perhaps I'll get a little bit further than that, but that is my goal at the moment, is to get those first two areas done. And in my Lore Master series, which will be running on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, its usual time slot, I'll be continuing with Season 4, and my trips finishing up in Enidwythe, and then heading into Dunland. And I'm hoping to reach Galtrev by the end of the month. In Dungeons and Dragons Online, I will be running a short series with my Dragonborn Artificer where I'll be trying out the new instances. My goal for August will be to do the four new level six instances and my plan then is to finish up the last of the instances, White Plume Mountain, 
in early September. And therefore, let's head into what we'll have on Minecraft. And Minecraft, we've got quite a busy schedule for that one. For the Mondays and Fridays, I will, of course, have the Minecore, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. And this time, it'll be the Aquatic Challenge, where you're supposed to become familiar with the items in 1.13. Yes, I've been doing MHCs for the last few times in 1.13 so therefore I don't really have any major things to learn on that matter but I would have decided to undertake the challenge of doing a turtle farm in there so we'll see how that goes and hopefully I'll last for more than two days and for the base race for August, I'll be doing those on Tuesdays and Saturdays, which is the same slot it had last month. And here they have not yet announced what the base race will be, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll be announced before the first video is to go up on Saturday. And also related to the base race, I will be making a build for the July base race and I'll be posting videos for that on the first three Wednesdays of August and there I'll be building the various parts of the base and hopefully I'll have something that will look nice. This is going to be my first serious creative build so I'm sure that it's not going to be something that's going to wow people as much, for example, as one that is done by those big experts in creative mode. And also, on the last two Wednesdays, I'm hoping that Wellstopia will have started by then. If not, then the last two Wednesdays will most likely then be reserved for additional episodes of the base race if necessary. Hopefully, it won't be necessary. On Thursdays, I will have the Railroad Challenge, and then on Sundays, I will have the Atomic Islands. So therefore, we have quite a busy schedule we have in there. We have on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we will have the Piney Plays the Burglar. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we will have Piney Plays the Lore Master. On Sundays, we would have the Dragonborn Artificer into the new DDO instances. Then in Minecraft, we would have the MHC on Mondays and Fridays, the base race on Tuesdays and Saturdays, the base race build on the first three Wednesdays, and Wellstopia on the last two Wednesdays if the world is open up by then, Railroad Challenge on Thursdays, and Atomic Islands on Sundays. And that's it for my plans on August, and hopefully things will be able to come together nicely to help us to carry that through. And we'll find that out next month. But until then, this is Pilot Mules reminding you to skirmish responsibly.